But uh, one more slide for you guys, and then we're going to get right into showing software and looking at it live um, to see what these features and how they look like and how they actually implement. So just touching really quick base on the communication drivers updates with the new version release of 2023. So the first thing is, you know, with the 2020 R2 release, we added MQTT with the Spark Plug B specification as a subscription to a broker. Um, but now the same driver has the ability to make a published connection to that same broker using that Spark Plug B specification. Click to the next slide. Um, in terms of managing uh, information, um, you know, uh, you know, tags, connections uh, with that uh, MQTT publisher, you're able to import and export uh, content uh, in there to do bulk editing and things like that with it. And then on our OPC UA server. So for those who don't know, um, System Platform was made available to be and act as an OPC UA server with uh, version 2020, 2020 uh, not the R2 release. So a couple of releases back. And um, uh, one of the things that they implemented was the ability or with this new release is to uh, have the OPC UA reverse connect feature. Basically, a more secure way of dictating and managing connections to different OPC UA clients in that the OPC UA server is defining and initiating that connection uh, to those uh, respective and designated clients rather than the other way of having any OPC UA client make the connection uh, to the OPC UA server. Um, and then this is uh, kind of a minor one, um, but I have seen this in the market, but um, way back when, um, I can't remember which version, but uh, there was the ability to create uh, the device integration hierarchy that you normally see in our um, uh, system management console, which has been rebranded as OCMC, which is Operations Control uh, Management Center. And uh, in the past, you were able to take uh, that whole infrastructure and create the connections to the, the PLCs through the driver hierarchy in objects within system platform. Those have been deprecated uh, with future releases or with modern releases. And there's actually a, a now a conversion path with the device integration OPC client uh, to get those legacy device integration objects uh, back onto the latest uh, OI server technology. 